Okay, so I'm going to show you all a mind blowing tool that you need in your Discord server right now. This tool is completely free at the moment, but things may change. So I would get yourself access to it right now. So with that being said, let's jump straight in. The first thing that you will need to do is scroll down on this video right here into the description and get yourself onto the Mid Journey website. You will need to, first of all, click on the sign up button right here to get yourself an account, which will give you early access and it will give you access to their beta testing. And speaking of beta testing, after you've signed up, you can press the other button to join the beta. This will then open up a Discord link and you want to accept it. Once you've agreed to it and you are in their Discord server, you will need to go over to the left side of the screen, go into the newbie room, and then you can look over to the right side where all the list of users are. You just want to simply right click on the mid journey bot and add it to your server. Now in here, you just simply want to add it to the correct server, read through the message and then give it authority. So once everything has been done, you can then go back onto your Discord server and now you've got yourself the mid journey bot in your Discord. From here, you can simply go into the text box down below and start typing in the commands. We would get ourselves the two images for the references and drag this into the Discord chat. You want to press enter so that they are present in the chat and it can use it for the references. We could then press backspace, imagine, and then you want to press tab. You want to left click on the first one and then copy the link. And then we want to left click off of this paste it into the prompt, press space, and then once again, copy the link for this one as well. You then want to press space, and now you could type in the keywords that you want it to look like. So for example, futuristic, ultra realistic, and then of course, cyberpunk. And then at the end of it, you want to press space, double dash, V space four, since this is version four, and then press enter. This will then start to process this image and it will use these two pictures for a reference. You can then have a look at the four variations that it's created and see which one you like the most. So as you can see, it's done a really good job and all of these are actually really good and hard to pick from. But let's say for example, we wanted to pick number three. We would select ourselves the number three and this will upscale number three. And there it is, there is the image upscaled to a much larger scale. 